guys, it's Cassia and today I am coming to you with a haul video. It is a massive, massive book haul. I am looking at my stack of books right now and I am scared it's going to eat me. <laughs> I sort of went crazy um, with book shopping, so I'm going to show you all the books that I got. This is just all the books that I bought this year. <laughs> my book tower is going to fall. This first one is called Las Orchestra Saves the World and it's by Alexander McCall Smith. This book I got from Fremantle which is my favourite place ever in Perth. It's a bookshop there called Elizabeth Secondhand Bookshop. They have this thing called Blind Date with a Book which I absolutely love. I write like little things to do with the book. It says like World War One or like racism or history or something, I don't know. Second thing was a recommendation from my best friend Natalie and it's called Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. It is such a good book and the movie is just as amazing. I love the movie so much. It's about this little boy and his dad dies in the 9-11 terrorist attack. Finds this key in his dad's wardrobe and he just goes around trying to find out what the key opens and what it actually means. If you don't want to read the book, I highly recommend watching the movie. It is so good. Okay, so now I'm on to the books that I bought online. This was in two separate orders. That doesn't... I'm trying to justify myself for buying a lot of books, but nothing's ever going to justify buying all of these books. Well, I have 19 books from this store. Basically, I bought this in two rounds. One with my mom's credit card and one with my dad's. This bookstore is called Booktopia and I'll leave a link to it down below. It just has books for cheap and shipping's good. This one I've already read and it is The Lonely Planet's Best Ever Photography Tips and it just has a lot of photography tips in it. This one I've also read and it's called The Tiny Wife by Andrew Kaufman. Basically it is the most weirdest book I've ever read in my entire life. A robot charges into a bank with a loaded gun but instead of taking any money he steals an item of sentimental value from each person. Once he has made his escape strange things start to happen to the victim. A tattoo comes to life, a husband turns into a snowman, a baby starts to shit money, Stacy Hinterlands discovers that she's shrinking a little every day and there is seemingly nothing that she or her husband can do to reverse the process. A guy eats his wife because she is turned into candy. How much do you want to read this book right now? It is so good. This book is a book that I am reading now and it's called Dear Mr. Henshaw by Beverly Cleary. I wanted to read this book because of the movie Stuck in Love which has Logan Lerman, Lily Collins, Nat Wolf and a bunch of other people that are really cool. Logan, or his character, says that this is his favourite book and I don't know why but he compelled me to read this. He's just such a beautiful boy, is he not? Really little, it's a short book and it's got big writing so I'm thinking this is for like little people. Ages 8 to 12. About this little boy. This, this guy, it's floppy. His name is Lay bots or Lee boot bots I don't know and he is writing letters to his favorite author Boyd Henshaw with hence the name dear Miss Henshaw da -da -da -da. this is nowhere but up by Penny Millette in the teenage version I've read the original version which is more like for adults and stuff and then I heard she came up with a teenage version I was like um yeah I have to get it yeah I'm excited for that one next is another book that I'm so excited about and it is called Eleanor and Park this is by Rainbow Rowell. Also, unlike Booktopia, they give you like a lot of different options of like what cover you want and if you want hardcover or soft cover. Is that what it's called? Paperback. Soft cover. What? Next book is really heavy. Why are you so heavy? Oh my god. It's called Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Min and Ed's story of heartbreak may remind you of your own. I've never had heartbreak, so. Next is a book that I was so excited about. It's called Look Who's Back by Timur Vermes. And <laughs> you're gonna think I'm weird because I was really excited about this book. It's about Hitler. So basically Hitler wakes up in 2011 in Berlin and he really confused because like there's no concentration camps and there's like immigrants everywhere and it's run by a woman and he's just really confused. He just wants people to believe that he is actually Hitler. So he becomes a YouTube star and 
he gets his own TV show. Next is a humongous book and it's going to take me forever to read and it's called More Than This by Patrick Ness and it's about a boy who drowns and he dies. He wakes up naked, bruised and thirsty but alive. Next is The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. My friend Charlotte and Zoe watched the movie for this in their English class. They watched it before lunchtime and they came running to the table like practically in tears. It's about this little girl named Lily and she accidentally killed her mother when she was four years old but she was meant to actually like shoot her dad because he is abusive I think that's why. And she becomes friends with like a black servant and there's like racial tension and stuff. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Never understood this but then I watched the movie and now it freaks me out. <laughs> I don't know if I want to read it anymore because the movie scared the tits out of me. Basically it's about a girl whose name is Susie Salmon and she is murdered. She wants her like family to be happy again and be good again and find out who the murderer is. This book I wanted to read forever. It's called The Wrong Boy by Susie Zale. She's a prisoner basically but she's asked to play piano for this person's like a commander or something or like someone important and then she like meets his son and they fall in love and he's the wrong boy and falls in love with the wrong boy yay this is another influence from stuck in love the dad who i forgot the name of the actor he just talks about this book a lot and so yeah this book is called Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy the thing up here says the year she was meant to die became the year she started to live it's kind of like Paper Towns by John Green. That's what it reminded me of, which is why I bought it. David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell it gives you a different perspective on life. So basically it's just like, why do underdogs succeed so much more than they should? How do the weak outsmart the strong? This is called If on a Writer's... If, what? I can't read. If on a Winter's Night a Traveller by Vintage Calvino. I'll read you the blurb. You go into a bookshop and buy If on a Winter's Night a Traveller by Italo Calvino. You like it, but there's a printer's error in your copy. You take it back to the shop and get a replacement, but the replacement seems to be a totally different story. You try to track down the original book you were reading, but end up with a different narrative again. This remarkable novel leads you through many different books, including a detective adventure, a romance, a satire, an erotic story, a diary, and a quest. But the hero of them all is you, the reader. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, 50th anniversary edition. I've read a lot of books, but I haven't read many of like the classics. So basically, it's about a black man who's charged with the rape of a white girl. Ew, it's got really little text. Oh my god, no, that just put me off everything. Oh my god, I've got pins and needles. Oh, I can't reach my other book because I've got pins and needles. This book is called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I am terrified. Oh my god, I am terrified. It's about a boy named Jack, Jacob. His grandpa like tells him stories about this like island filled with peculiar children. Journeying to a remote island of the west coast of Wales where he discovers the crumbling ruins of Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. He's also like trying to get his first girlfriend throughout all of this, so it's like romance, but like scary. Oh my god, that was really scary. <gasps> this book is called The Man Who Couldn't Stop by David Adam, and it's a true story with about a man who has OCD. And the very last book is another photography book, and it's called Social Photography by Daniela Oh, Ooh, I get a bookmark. <gasps> Topia.com.au. So that is all my books. I'm sorry if this video was like a million years long. All of the books that I've bought are listed down below. And make sure you check out the Booktopia website if you are interested. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what's your favourite book or what's a book that you really want to read. I've already started making another wish list for books. Thank you for watching, I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!